All right, in this video, we're going to do a walkthrough of my new canoe Frontier 12. Okay, this is a 2018 new canoe Frontier 12 that I had gotten off of Facebook Marketplace. Starting here at the back, I use a 55 pound thrust uh, Newport Vessels kayak trolling motor. I run that to a 100 amp hour lithium battery. Uh, got this Minn Kota battery box for it. Comes with a, a circuit breaker inside of it. And added this onto the, the wiring from the trolling motor. Then I got a extension handle uh, with a U-joint on it. It has an extension, goes up there to the front where I can reach down and control the speed uh, and steer with my left hand. Next we got this Magellan 19 quart bait cooler that I use. That's where I keep all my skipjack or whatever else that I'm uh, using for bait that day. Uh, the thing I like about this cooler is that it comes with these uh, rod holders here on the side of it that I can stick a uh, bait rod in if I need to. Next thing we got is this uh, Railblazer uh, flag and light safety and visibility kit. Mounts to the, the tracks here on the kayak. Right here next to my seat, this is where I keep my, my scissors and my needle nose pliers. This is the Yak Gadget Quick Winder line management system for your anchor. Keep a machete underneath my seat because, especially in the summer times, uh, if you ever have to beach your kayak anywhere, you never know what you're going to run up on. Uh, the rod holders that I use are the Railblazer kayak rod holders. I have the 6 inch extension arm on them. Uh, and then the what I did is drilled a hole uh, through the, the base plate that comes with them. And then you can get some either toilet bowl screws or the actual T-bolts. Uh, the toilet bowl screws are a lot cheaper. You can get those at like Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, but you drill a hole through them and then find the nut that fits them and you can just... Uh, bolt it down on top of there, but then it loosen that up and then allows you to slide your rod holder one way or another. Keep my fish grips right here underneath my seat, otherwise they slide around and I lose them. Uh, and then up front here, this is the Musky Bumper Fat Boy measuring board. You got these Railblazer star mounts that you can attach to anything else, drill a hole and attach those. So now attaches on both sides and you don't have to worry about the measuring board falling off in the water which has happened to me in the middle of a tournament. Luckily if it does do that these musky bumper boards float. This was originally the Scotty mount transducer arm uh, that I have attached to my Garmin transducer. Recently kind of mix and match some parts. This is a Scotty mount arm but then I had taken an old railblazer part from an old rod holder and figured out that the two actually will fit and put a railblazer base plate uh, just because it was a lower profile than the one I was previously using. And then moving up front here, this is my front camera that I film all my fishing with. That's an Acaso EK7000 uh, that I used to film, same thing I'm filming this video on. And this is the railblazer camera boom. Comes down here, mounts to that railblazer mount. And I have a cord running from the the camera down here to this, I think it's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery, so I don't have to worry about uh, swapping out batteries from the camera itself, because I used to do that, and then I dropped my camera in the bottom of 70 feet of water. And then I got Velcro on the bottom of it, so it just sits there. Open this up, this is where I keep my first aid kit, I have an extra drift sock, this is where I keep my battery for my, my sonar, and I used to keep my battery for the trolling motor up here, and actually have it wired to where it, the wiring is still there, but it uh, used to come up here and attach to the, the battery, but I got a bigger battery, because uh, it used to be a 55 amp hour, but now I have a 100 amp hour, and the 100 amp hour don't fit in there. Use this launching, uh, this is a extension cord roller from walmart is like five bucks uh, and i just put my rope on there and i have a carabiner on the end of it and i attach that to my kayak and launch it and then pull it over to the dock or pull it back to the shore wherever you know i'm launching from on both sides i have a trolley put on there each of them have a ring on there so you can you can attach your anchor on one side which i do my anchor on the other side and then you can do your drift sock on the other and it helps keep you keep you straight and keep you from swaying around in current right here i have the yak attack bullwinkle for rod management anytime i'm like 
changing things out or just need somewhere to sit my rod at before what i was running to is these things would just slip and slide all over the place and i don't want to be dropping them into water that provides a nice space for you to put your rod and not have to worry about it sliding around and then this is my garmin echo map 73 sv that i have mounted on a railblazer mount as well and I have that mounted to the new canoe dash xl that i moved up front and coming around extra extra lip grippers i have these little lights you can turn on helpful in the dark and helps light the floor for you if you're out there after dark or early in the morning uh, this is just an old bag that a, a camelback bottle went in that i repurposed to store my anchor and i just have a three and a half pound anchor with a three foot chain on it this is another railblazer starport with a six inch extension and then this is a railblazer gun holder uh, that i don't use to hold a gun but you can also hunt from these things um, and I use that to sit my uh, tiller handle so that it doesn't slide all over the place because before I had that, it would slide off into the water sometimes. And then have my paddle stored here on the side. And then down here, this is where I keep all my tackle that I use. Found this on clearance in Academy, I think. And I just liked it because it had that handle. I can keep it up there in the front and just pull it out when I needed it. And it allowed me to get rid of the, the crate. And then I keep another uh, drift sock up there and then a bilge pump underneath my seat here. This is an emergency rescue step that if you go off into the water, uh, especially in the colder months, um, this gives you a little bit better of a chance to climb back up into the kayak. I haven't had to test it out yet, hope I don't. On the back of my seat here, I just keep a small book bag uh, that I have strapped on there and then uh, anchored down with zip ties and just to store miscellaneous stuff in. 